Cameron K, and it is so bright out here in Southern California that I cannot even see the screen, so hopefully I'm in it. But I wanted to show you how to make some beaded bracelets, and they you can do all different colors, shapes, sizes. You can use extra beads. They're so much fun. They're quick, they're simple, and they're a fun summer project. I'll see you there. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a stretch bracelet and I read a lot of the jewelry forums and a lot of you have the question what do I do with extra beads? Do I throw them away? Do I keep them? What can I do? So a great thing to do with extra beads that I have found and they're fun and they're quick and you can wear them in all different styles are stretch beaded bracelets. So you can do something like these Chinese bracelets for good luck. You can do kind of like a 1980s Madonna situation with pearls or these are glass beads up your arm. <laughs> you can do um, all sorts of crystals like this. These are actually glass. I don't recommend ever doing a Swarovski crystal on a stretch cord because it can cut through the cord. Um, this was some coral bead work that I did so today I'm going to use some of the blue and turquoise beads that I had left over, some glass and turquoise, and I'm going to show you how to do a stretch bead bracelet. So the tools you're going to need are a pair of scissors to cut your stretch cord. This is a seven millimeter stretch magic cord, two pairs of flat nosed pliers, and a large crimp bead. Uh, make sure that the crimp bead is large enough for the stretch magic to double through twice. And as long as you can put the stretch magic through it, you're fine. And whatever beads you're gonna be using. Like I said, I'm gonna do some green and turquoise beads. You can use any type of beads. Just make sure you don't use anything that's crystal because it can cut through. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stretch cord, and I always like to leave excess because you don't wanna cut it too short because then you're dealing with um, it's just too difficult, so I always cut excess cord so you don't have to stress about it. And what I also like to do is I like to set something on the top of it to secure it down while I'm beading. So I'm just going to use this little tray here full of beads. And it's very simple. All I'm going to do is start beading. And I'll probably cut this halfway through so you don't have to see how slow this beading is. But you're really just going to take the stretch cord and feed it through the beads, like so. And there's no rhyme or reason. You can just feed them through any which way, any order. Um, that's what's great about these is that you can just kind of have fun. You can also do a pattern if you want to do a pattern. But like I said, the ones today are just going to be with excess beads. And I'm going to cut this soon so you don't have to continue watching me bead the entire bracelet, but I'm going to continue beading and I'll be right back. So what I've done is I've continued to bead the necklace, like, I'm sorry, the bracelet, as so, and um, now what we're going to do, it's about, just so you know, this one's about eight inches, but you can actually, it depends on the person's wrist. What I like to do, I have a small wrist, so it, they're usually pretty small, but you can kind of just make sure that it's gonna fit like that. You can test it. So once you're done, and they do stretch, so you can always go a little bit smaller because that's what's great about the stretch cord. I'm gonna take the end of the stretch cord. I'm gonna take my crimp bead and put the crimp bead through like so. Then, so it's on like this. I'm gonna take this end of the stretch bracelet. This is very similar to the toe ring demonstration if you've seen that one. And I'm gonna put it through so both pieces are through the crimp bead, like this. I'm gonna pull it through. Don't make it too tight, because you want a little bit of flex room. You don't want it you know, too tight that it's gonna snap. So you want it fairly tight, but not too tight. And like I said, I'm gonna try to do this on camera. So you can hold it together with two hands, then take your pliers, put it underneath the crimp bead, like so, and you're gonna crimp it together, like that. And make sure you crimp it hard and tight because you wanna make sure that it doesn't 
come loose. So that's what it's gonna look like. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut the excess off the ends, like so. And get as close to the crimp bead as you can because you don't want that really showing. And voila, you have a little bracelet. So it's fun, it's easy, it's great. You can stack them, you can do whatever you wanna do. Like I said, great way to use extra beads. Happy beading!